What's up, guys? It's your boy, Danny, obviously. Today is May 7th, 2022, and it's in the 70s outside. What a beautiful day. Now, I am dealing with blurry vision because my blood pressure raised again overnight well, in my sleep, as it does, because I have sleep apnea. And the medical place, the sleep place, is so behind on getting me my machine I'm just kind of just having to deal with it. So I have blurry vision in the right eye again, but it will go away. Uh, sometimes it goes away same day, so we'll see. Anyway, this video is not about that. Obviously it's another episode of Tales from the Thrift and my mount is broken and I don't know how to fix it. Cheap Chinese Amazon mount. So sorry for the blurry shaky footage, but I gotta have something to hold my phone as I vlog or as they make this video, it's not really a vlog. I mean, nuts though, I'll be honest. So that's, I'm very, I'm gonna be very curious to see how that looks in post because it's, to me, it looks extremely shaky. So I'm hoping, um, <laughs> it's ridiculous. I'm hoping that the image stabilization kicks in. I'm not sure if it does in cinematic mode. Anyway. New episode of Tales from the Thrift. I still haven't, <laughs> still haven't edited the old episode, the previous episode yet. So hopefully by the time you see this, actually by the time you will see this, that one will be live. So I'm gonna focus on editing this weekend, but today is thrifting. I'm gonna look at some Goodwills and probably some garage sales. So it's a beautiful day, perfect day for garage sale uh, doing, garage sale shopping, I guess. So I'm hyped. Right now though, I am headed to the post office. I do have one eBay sale. I got a mail. That's a, a four pound book. Some legal book about cyber crime or something. So I forget what the name of the title is, but it's like how to do, how to find cyber crime online. It's like for, for, for a law book. I'm pretty sure or like law enforcement book. I found it at retail for five bucks. I sold it for 20. So yeah, can't complain. Anyway, uh, I'm not sure where I'm going first. Just know that in the next clip we'll be at where, wherever, we'll be. it'll probably be Goodwill, honestly. But we will uh, we will hopefully find some good stuff today. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this clip at the moment just because I, this mount is driving me insane, bouncing around like it is. Anyway, I'll see you guys at Goodwill. All right, I've not checked in here before, so. I'll go ahead and give it a shot. Salvation Army Family Store. Let's go. Okay, I definitely found some stuff. Um, some really good stuff, which I'll go through in a second. But this is going for like $17 on eBay. I was all excited. And I opened it up. It's fucking Madden 13. So, yeah. Never mind. Okay, so clearly... I'm at Goodwill now, and like I mentioned in the past, a truck went through this building in December. December. It's May. And Goodwill still has not bothered to fix the hole the truck cost. <laughs> I don't know why the truck went through. I forget. I don't know if the guy thought he was in park and he wasn't, but yeah, he his truck went straight up through the Goodwill. And they have yet to fix it. They just put plywood up, and it's still not fixed because they're like, yeah, fuck it. You know, obviously, <laughs> it's funny to me. I was telling David Players about this last night. My Goodwill's got a big ass hole with plywood covering it, and here you go. It's still not fixed. It's so funny to me, though. Too funny. But yeah, we're at Goodwill now. There you go, Goodwill. So, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys everything I get at the end. I got a bunch of stuff, a lot of good stuff, at the Salvation Army store. So now we go into Goodwill. And, uh, yeah, here we go. Some loud birds in the bush next to me. <laughs> I'm sure you can hear that. Anyway, I found yet another Salvation Army store. Also, I got, I did get some stuff at Goodwill. I didn't vlog in there because there was a lot of people in there. And shout out to the employee. I didn't get his name. He's, he's actually, um, mute. It's my first time ever meeting a person who's actually mute. Couldn't speak, but he was very nice. He was he was helping me find uh, some of the stuffed animals I get that I got. 
And yes, I did find some stuffed animals. I found some three, uh, I found some three, that makes no sense. I found three Beanie Babies, uh, and two of them are, no, I found four Beanie Babies, and three of them are uh, bears. And they're going for, you know, 15, 20 bucks online. They're a buck 49. I'll show you everything when I get home. But right now I'm at yet another Salvation Army family store. Goodwill's cool, but I'm so far having way better luck with Salvation Army stores. And I've never been to these until today. So that first one I went to was new to me. They've been around for years. And now this one I've never been into. This used to be a Comp USA. If you guys remember Comp USA back in the day, and I'll show you what it looks like here in a second. This was once Comp USA. Back in the 90s, this is the only place you can get Macintosh computers. It was at this Comp USA, which is now a Salvation Army family store. So I'm very, very curious to see if it's got like remnants of Comp USA in there. I have not been in there since Comp USA closed. But I'm excited, so let's go. And just to show you what it looks like, yeah, used to be Comp USA. It is now a Salvation Army family store. I'm excited. Let's go in. Yep, it looks just like a shell of a Comp USA. That corner was the Macintosh corner back in the day. But yeah, I found some DHS stuff, nothing crazy. A few Disney movies that usually go in the vault that could be. $15 for all I know. These probably go for 15 each. Sopranos season two and three on VHS. So I keep looking for a little bit. Not as good as the first stop though. Okay, I can't find my phone tripod, so I have you sitting in one of these, which I use to post stuff with. But I want to show you guys the haul I got this week. Uh we're just gonna start with something big. This is from Goodwill. It's an Aladdin poster, and it's framed. It was $7.99 at Goodwill, and it's going for about $30 to $40 on eBay. So, not a bad find. And I believe it's from 1990-something. Yeah, but, yeah, this whole thing is... The red, I just now noticed the red is also part of the poster. I thought it was just part of the frame. So, very nice. It's from the 90s. It's definitely original. So, pretty cool. I'm gonna set that off to the side. That'll be a very interesting way, or very very interesting way to ship, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So I had more success at um, the Salvation Army Family Store, which is a thrift store, but I did find some good things at Goodwill. So we're going to, I'm gonna start with this bag. This bag is Salvation Army. All right, this is from the first Salvation Army. Plain geometry. Boring. Boring, right? 30 bucks. 30 bucks on eBay. I comped it. All day long, $30. I paid a dollar. Yeah. That's gonna be easy. Flip. Um we got the El Libro de Mormon, the Mormon Bible, in I guess Spanish. I was going for about 10 bucks, I believe. 10, 15 bucks on eBay. It is a little worn, so I will note that. But again, pay maybe a dollar. Books are so cheap at uh, thrift stores. GoldenEye 007 is about 15 bucks on eBay. You pay $3.99, I think. So, uh, Miami Vice Season 1, Season 2, Season 3. I'm going to sell these together. These are five bucks a piece. I could probably get $25 for all three. So, I'm going to put these all in one listing. First three seasons of Miami Vice. That should go very nicely. Um, let me make sure. The, so the books were a dollar. Books, books, books. Were a dollar. And the movies were. Uh, $3.99. Oh. I almost forgot. The biggest come up of this first. Um, Salvation Army store. Where is it? 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 Here it is. This is the first thing I found, actually. And it's by far today's winner. The complete series of CSI Miami. All 10 seasons on DVD. I paid $5 for this. It's going for nearly $90 on eBay. That beautiful. Look at that. So cool. Now, one thing I didn't do was check the discs. So let me do that real quick. They should be fine. I'm hoping nobody 
you know, either forgot to put discs in here or stole or what or anything like that. I didn't look till now. I didn't think to look till now. This one, this two. Uh, we got disc seven, disc three. Okay, so these are all out of order, but it looks like all the discs are here. And from what I can tell, they look fine. I'll obviously look off camera, but yeah. So all the discs are here, it looks like. Somebody didn't know to put the disc back in the right place, but they're all here. So very nice. Some have multiple uh, discs. Anyway, I'll, I'll look at all this in a second. So there's that. Let me check the other one real quick while I'm filming. Okay, I feel like there's too many discs in this one. I'm sure whoever donated this is just like throwing it in, just throwing it in here. But yeah, it looks like everything's here. I don't think anything's broken. All the discs look perfect, brand new. So yeah, this should sell, no problem. I'm gonna put all these in order though, because somebody just threw them all in here. Whoever donated just threw them all in here, probably just trying to get rid of it. So yeah, complete series of CSI Miami 1 through 5 and 6 through 10, all 10 seasons in a nice box. The box looks really good. So I shouldn't have any problem selling this. I saw this selling very recently for 90 bucks, which is why I picked it up for five. That's today's winner. Okay, back to Goodwill. This is a Yoshi Copper Grill and Bake Mat. There's two packs. So it goes about 15 to 20 on eBay. I paid... Four ninety nine, paid five bucks, so that should flip, no problem. Um, and then I did get some stuffed animals. So this is apparently is a dog toy, I think. At least that's what I could find on eBay. It was going for around twenty bucks on eBay. And I paid a dollar ninety nine, I believe. So there you go, a little sloth dude, CSI themed. I don't know why CSI Miami booster pack for a CSI Miami game. It was five bucks. It's going for about 15 to 20 on eBay. So very cool. Actually, what's funny is I have another stuffed animal. I sold this same stuffed animal last week. It's from Hellsberg Diamonds. It's the I Am Loved. I forget what year it is, but it's the I Am Loved Bear, which I already sold one of these last week. The fact that I found another one that's exactly as the first one, pretty cool. So obviously it's going to be easy to sell. I already sold one. So very nice. We're not done yet. This is for me. It's just a, um, you know, a, a four-way plug. Because I need them down here to test stuff with. Also, and I won't put it in the video, at least maybe not. I don't know. Uh, at, at um, oh, the Salvation Army. The second Salvation Army I went to, I found a 26 or 27-inch Samsung flat panel tv with uh av inputs so i can test consoles with i'm gonna list those soon like sega genesis and stuff like that i'll be listing those soon probably today but i didn't have any way to test them but now i do because i have that tv and it does work it's 15 dollars at the salvation army store so very nice but yeah this is for me so i paid four bucks for it it's probably worth 10 maybe but i'm obviously gonna keep it because i need it so that one doesn't count Okay, <clears throat> this was dollar forty nine. Tie beanie baby. It's a bear. The bears tend to go for you know five ten dollars. This is going for about ten on eBay, so that'll be easy ten dollar flip. Another easy ten dollar flip. Also paid a dollar forty nine. Is this tie beanie baby as well? Very nice. I love that they still have the tags on them. That's good. And what else do we have? We have a third tie beanie baby. This is. A happy Mother's Day, Beanie Baby. So tomorrow is Mother's Day, but I was thinking about selling it. Maybe I will give it to mom. I don't think she wanted it, though. It is cool. It does fit. Maybe I will give this to her for Mother's Day. I don't know. If not, I'll sell it for 10 bucks. Um, let's see. And then we got, uh, looks like a another tie. It's a chicken. He's going for about 10 bucks also on eBay. Again, paid $1.49. And I think I paid $2.49 for the Mother's Day Beanie Baby. This is 
the receipt. Yes, it is. Okay. Keep the receipt there. These were five bucks a piece. I can sell them for 20 together. No problem. Just a little factory sealed micro cassettes. People still use those. These were still selling on eBay. I checked. So that's good. So very nice. What a successful day, guys. And I'm still not done. I still have more. Two more bags. Of All right. So I got books, as you know, as I said in the past videos, books always do well for me on eBay. This is the Physical Examination Health Assessment 6th Edition book. Recently sold for 20 bucks on eBay. I paid $1.99, I believe. Oh, can't show that. On, oof. I can't show. I just haven't opened up the book to... Well, there's a butthole and a vagina, and I cannot show this on YouTube. Very detailed photos of this stuff. <laughs> so, it's chapter 25 is the anus, rectum, and prostate exam. So, this, <laughs> this will probably sell pretty quickly um, for people who need to give themselves an anal exam or a prostate exam or whatever the hell. Anyway. There's that. Uh, and then I also got Sopranos, the least second season on VHS. It was $3. And they're going for about $15, $10 to $15 online. Not a huge profit, but it is something. It's a very it's in very nice condition. So gotta definitely look these over to make sure all the tapes are in order. They should be. Uh, and if they're not, then I lost out on $3. Big whoop. But uh, you know, when you're in the moment, you don't always check every single disc or tape you probably should definitely recommend it just in case you don't get burned and you don't buy something and it's not in there like i'm glad i checked that game earlier that i thought was um portal 2 and it was madden 13 which is worth a dollar maybe but anyway i think this is the last bag it is all right we're not done now these i did check before i bought so these are not huge profits by the way and i just now noticed somebody wrote their name on this one. Dang. All right. Anyway, Lion King on VHS. It's a classic. About 15 bucks on eBay. Probably ask less because it's got writing on it. I did check the tapes and they are in there. Jungle Book. Maybe eight to ten dollars on eBay. Again, I paid 49 cents. I don't know if I even said that. I, I did pay 49 cents per, per VHS. That wasn't Sopranos. So all these VHSs I'm showing you now, all the Disney ones and everything else, um, except for this other thing, it was all 49 cents. Aladdin, about 8 to $10 on eBay. And this case is worn and all that stuff, but it'll still sell. People like watching VHS tapes still. It's a very vintage thing. Uh, Hercules, again, about 8 to $10 on eBay. And yeah, everything's intact. Even the coupon I saw online when checking comps is right inside. That's pretty cool. So all that's very vintage at this point. And the last thing, again, for $3, Sopranos Season 3 VHS. Excellent condition box. I'm pretty sure it came from the same house. And they're all there. So there you go. Well, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get started on listing. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching another episode of Tales from the Thrift. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get started on working. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, everybody. Let me know what you find. I'm very curious. I know I'm not the only one out here doing this. So if you are as well flipping, let me know what you find. I'm very interested to see who's doing what. Thanks for watching.